Let's go behind the scenes with the Alpine F1 team at the Canada Grand Prix. I'm not sure how we did it, but we got ourselves a VIP pass this time. My home race, it's the Canada Formula One event. Already as we arrive at the circuit, we get to skip the long line and the bag search. So we're in sooner. We've been split from the masses. I do not know what this weekend is going to have in store for us. But I'm excited to find out what this gets us. Look at this, the, the lineup started on the other side of the fence and we don't have a line. I'm not used to VIP access, so I don't know what we're gonna get access to today, but we'll find out together. Just nod it, didn't even scan it. Let's go. Now apparently there is a VIP gate that I didn't go in, so we're just walking in with everyone else. No one else around me has a VIP pass. I put it in my pocket, but I don't wanna stand out too much. Yeah. I have to say, I know it's practice today, but it's been very orderly and organized. It's, like, so far, it looks like a good event. Now, we're looking for the paddock club, which is apparently on the other side of the circuit. But gosh, this circuit is amazingly green. A lot of walking so far. Paddock club, paddock club. This is a beautiful venue, though. There are so many food trucks. Oh, this is great. Yuki and Nick up on stage. All the action is starting early. I feel like there's gonna be something to do and see all day, all weekend. As much as I wanna watch that, we gotta find the paddock club. No, not the Heineken club, although we'll come back to that. The Heineken bar area is along a river? I can tell you, I'm definitely gonna get my 10,000 steps into this. I must have entered at the wrong entrance, because this is the opposite side of the track. There's the Montreal Casino. I think I'm gonna put it on now. And all of a sudden, we've ended up behind the scenes here somehow. There's all the medical doctors, medical staff. Yeah, we're in the right place. I think this is it. Now. I've never done this before, so they're actually sending someone to meet me to hopefully explain how this whole weekend's gonna work. I don't know. This must be her. Maria? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Great, great. Now we're not actually going into the paddock club. We don't have a pass for that. We have a VIP pass. This is the official paddock, where the teams have their hospitality tents on the left and the garages on the right. And it looks like we're going straight into the garage. Holy, we're, we're in. Immediately, we can see that this is a busy working garage. I recognize this face. Hello, oh, my man. Man. <laughs> We made it. We've gone from ice driving to this. Look at this. It's going to be a good weekend now. <laughs> so, at the moment, all the teams have their cars out so that all the teams can walk by and see them. We're, we're behind the road. And I've spotted a sneaky Ted Kravitz. But it's just hitting me that we're in here with the team, not out there with all the other celebrities or important people walking up and down the pits. These are big cars. Speaking of that, our VIP passes do let us wander up and down the pits, so let's go do that and size up the competition. Of course we're cheering for Alpine. Alpine. I'm trying to scope the competition. Alpine's looking good. Of course, seeing the cars is the exciting part, but I'm wondering if there are any, like, Canadian celebrities that'll be walking around in it. Who would it be? Celine Dion, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. He might be the most famous person here. So there are different passes. Everyone here in the pits either has a VIP pass, a team pass, or the Paddock Club pass. Paddock Club is up there, which I thought we were going to. We don't actually have access for that. We only have the VIP, which in one sense is better. We get to go into the garages and Paddock Club doesn't, but they get a lot of other luxury amenities that we don't. And this is me starting to notice that this VIP pass isn't a luxury experience, but we'll get to that later. Now, of course, it does come with all sorts of other bonuses, like getting to hold the steering wheel. How many are these secrets? Maybe I can't show this on camera, which is blur at all. The uh, pit lane is clearing out. I'm, I'm still here. This is what I came for. I didn't come for the amenities. I could have that back home watching TV. I came for this. Now this is where I actually start to get really excited about being here because I just noticed I'm left alone with the car. I don't know where everyone else in the pits went, but I'm here completely trusted by the team. One of them even complimented me on my shirt, but we'll get to that later. So that's it for the scrutineering. I think FP1 is coming up. Am I just allowed out here? This feels so weird. I think since this is all wrapped up, we're just gonna head to the hospitality tent. It's kind of where I think I'm so probably supposed to be. Just gonna get out of the way here. Now sitting on this little patio here might just be the best vantage point for all the behind the scenes action in the paddock. 
Esteban. He's very good at just passing through. We can see all the drivers walking along. The F1 TV team is filming in front of us. And, well, it's not long before we get a little bit more action for us. Oh, here we go. Okay, we've been called. It's uh, FP1 practice. I think we'll get to watch it from the garage. It seems like we're not only going to get a tour of the garage, but we actually get to be in there during FP1 while the team is working. I feel underdressed. <laughs> We can see the team is working on Esteban's car. He's standing there on the left with the red helmet. But over on the right, Pierre is ready, so he's heading out first. Now, I thought these headphones were just to protect our ears from the loud engine noises, but we can actually hear the driver talking to their race engineer. And this is how I heard the bad news before I even saw it on the TV. It just said, Pierre lost gears. He might be coming back in Gasly has had an issue and has caused a red flag, which is interesting to see from in the garage. But the team here is both trying to get ready for him to come in, knowing they have some work to do, but also that they can't exactly do anything until the car gets back into the garage. Okay, Esteban's in. Gonna give it a go. I can tell you, the scrutineers are ready. Thank you very much. Thanks. And with that, my time in the garage is up. So the uh, another group will get to go in there. We gotta go. It's a small space in the garage, so we're gonna share it with people. So we'll head back to our spot, I guess. So let's head back to the hospitality tent for a water and watch the celebrities in action in the paddock. There's quite a few ex-drivers along with TV presenters and <laughs> there's even the Canadian Grand Prix mascot. Until again, we're pleasantly interrupted. Wow, so we have we have a, a menu. We I, I order I, lunch here. It's lunchtime. I think the crew ate inside and we get wow. Hey, I'm not used to this kind of treatment. Merci beaucoup. A white wine with lunch, because it's a French team, right? Why not? I figure I don't get this type of pass very often, so we're just gonna try everything. Filming Sky TV right in the background while well, we're, we're just having lunch. So they said the chefs here are Italian, and this is homemade lasagna. So we kind of had to take the recommendation. <laughs> Oh, that is so soft. It's so soft. Yeah. That is... That's the best lasagna I've ever had. Apple cake looks delicious. I got the chocolate brownie. Honestly, chocolate brownie looks, looks good. Amazing. Yeah. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> of course, after lunch, a little espresso. <laughs> Clearly, I don't have a lot of those. There goes Esteban. Looks like lunch is over. <laughs> We're back. FP2 is now starting, so it's back to the garage. This, as an F1 fan, is exactly what I came to see. But oddly enough, now that the cars are on track, we just kind of stand here and watch it on TV like everyone at home. The team, of course, has work to do, prepping the tires or watching the data, talking to the drivers, but some of the mechanics just have to be ready. They just get to stand and watch, just like us. Until there's another little hiccup. You can't hear that. He told to stop the car. We're rotating with the group again. So just as the action's hitting, I gotta go. I've gotta find a TV to figure out what's going on. Luckily, the weather is changing quickly anyhow. Canada always likes to sprinkle in a little rain just to add a small challenge to the weekend. Not the practice day we were hoping for. It's just starting to rain. Practice is over, qualifying's tomorrow, and I think we're gonna get the same sort of weather. Gotta love a Canada race. Chaos in Canada every time. I was hoping the cactuses would bring us some luck with the weather, but well, maybe, maybe we need a little rain. Here comes Pierre. Now, Pierre and Esteban don't have any more driving today, but of course, there's always a little bit more work to do. Everyone wants a photo oh, yeah. and an interview. I wonder what they're talking about. Probably the weather. This is what it's like behind the scenes. They got to come out of the driver room, interview them, whether they like the weather or not. Yeah, sure. Meanwhile, I've been talking with that mechanic that noticed my shirt earlier. It's gonna, it's gonna fit you perfectly. All right. Thank you, thank you, sorry. Good trade. Now I've got something to wear tomorrow. Oh, Esteban, we're wearing the same shirt. The weather has changed drastically from earlier. I'm leaving the track in a different shirt than I came in. But that was just practice. Qualifying and the race, 
two more days of this. Day one gave us some incredible access, but the VIP pass isn't exactly what I was expecting. Maybe I'll figure it out tomorrow. It might not look like much. I'm sleeping on my friend's pull-out couch in Montreal, and I guarantee you, I'm being treated like a VIP here too. Today is qualifying day, and the weather is a little bit like how it ended yesterday. As a Canadian Formula One fan, I would have come to this race with tickets. I'm excited about today. And not a lot would have changed. I'd take the Metro to the track, just like everyone else. Qualifying day, it's supposed to rain all day. And I'd be walking into the circuit just like this, avoiding the puddles. And having to cross this entire circuit. If the rain keeps up today, puddles could become a problem. The rain could make qualifying pretty exciting. Am I foreshadowing? No, not really, it's pretty standard. But I do want to find out what the VIP pass grants me access to. Where are all the boats for? Are these shuttles? Can I take that? I noticed the boat shuttles yesterday. I wonder if the VIP pass works for that. I don't have paddock club access. And there we go. The boat shuttles are not for VIPs. They're for paddock club guests, which is not us. So it's back to the paddock. Day two, here we go. Back in the paddock. First things first, a little coffee. Just got a little coffee. And yes, I have my new shirt on from yesterday. But we're never settled for long. The rain has today feeling completely different. Now here's the main difference between the paddock passes and what we have, the VIP pass. Paddock passes get to walk the pit lane. The pit walk today is very similar to yesterday, except there's a lot more umbrellas to poke eyes out. But with the VIP pass, we get to stick with the team and be right with the mechanics even during pit stop practice. I'm trusted to be here with them. I'm not behind a rope and I don't have a guide. I'm just part of the Alpine family of sorts. <laughs> They let me get this close. Now, once the pit stop is done, there's nothing else for me to do back here. And I don't want to get in the way, so let's head back to the hospitality tent. Time to head back inside now. I don't know, after you, car. But walking through the garage here is both a reminder that I am a trusted guest of theirs, but also that this is a working office of sorts. We really are in a workspace. It's nice of them to let us in. And this is something you do not get with a paddock pass. And we're back in the tent just in time for lunch. And I think I'm gonna get the raviolis. It starts with an aubergine parmesan. Oh my God. Yes. Thank you. And don't forget the parmesan. All right, I have to admit, we are treated so well. Do I dare? You do this. I just do the whole thing. Is it kind of... <laughs> what I do. How do they do this? I don't know. Yeah. I'm not used to eating dessert at lunch, but I could get used to it. And with the creme brulee for dessert, the afternoon's activities are starting. So we're headed back to the pits. There seems to always be something going on for the fans at the circuit. And a little bit of celebrity spotting today, too. It's gotten clogged in the pits. Sky is filming something. Kim, fan of the channel. Thank you. Thanks very much. Someone will tell me who these people are. And even a few Canadian YouTubers, too. We're back. There had to be, there had to be another YouTuber in town. How you doing? Good. Good. Oh, this is embarrassing. I'm wearing your bag. Nice to meet you, Mike. All right, it's feeling like there are more, more people showing up today, qualifying day. I can only imagine what race day is going to be like. Pit walk over, pit stop check done. Looks like things are ready for qualifying. Always got to cut through the garage. This afternoon feels slightly more tense in here than it did yesterday. Cut the music for a second and just, just experience this with me. Race engineer talking to them, like how many laps, who's coming behind them. They're all working. We are technically just viewing. We could be seen as a burden. I mean, we're not needed in here, but we are here. We're included. We're given headphones. We're welcome. This isn't for show. There are no celebrities in here. There are no cameras on. 
so many screens to look at, but I'm more interested in listening. We're just here. Welcome with the team. So far, we're looking good. So it's back to the hospitality tent to watch the rest of qualifying. Well, oh, the rain's gonna make it interesting. But that's just it, isn't it? I'm here at the track. You can hear the rain starting on the tent. I'm at my home race at the track, but I'm watching qualifying on a TV in a tent. That doesn't sound very luxurious, but this is still the best F1 experience I have ever had. So I think the other thing we get is a meet and greet now that the drivers are done qualifying. So I think with that, we're gonna call it a night here. And so we're back with the fans. It's good to feel normal again. As we walk in the rain to the metro station, it finally clicks. I suddenly understand what the VIP pass is all about. I look around and I'm not any more important than any of these other fans. I'm not being treated differently. So cut to black and we're back in the metro on race day. All of us are fans. Just a bunch of polite Canadians making our way to the race. And that's kind of what it's all about, isn't it? They're not taking a limo to get here. I don't know if VIP is the right word. I mean, look, we're not riding to the race in a sports car or a limo. As a VIP, we don't get the luxury perks. We don't get to take the boat shuttles. We're walking in the back entrance. And we can't go in the paddock club unless we have a special pass. If we don't. There's no red carpet in here. This VIP pass isn't about being treated differently, but rather being included with the team. Really, I don't think it should be called a VIP pass, but instead should be called a family pass because I feel a part of the Alpine family. And this is when I start to really truly appreciate this experience that Alpine has offered me. There's this feeling that everyone in the pit lane looks so good. They look important, they look famous. But I've never been that type of person. And it's nice to know Alpine values us, the average person. Give us a chance to experience this. Roz, you ready for race day? You know it. I was born ready for race day. I love this. Love this. On the pit walk, I seem to have found myself in the front where the drivers went past the driver's break. Can't get much closer than that. The paddock club people are back there behind the rope. But we're here. Family pass. Yeah, so that good timing, being the right place at the right time. We're delaying as much as we can for lunch because this is our last chance to be out in the pits. We're, we're clearly the last one. Getting the pit stop board up. Canada, we've got a good looking crowd. One of the best looking crowds. But we can't hang out here forever. So let's speed through another delicious lunch. Wow. I like that. It's race time, I guess, and we're eating. They really aren't kidding when they say Alpine has the best chefs in the pack. Particularly dessert was amazing oh. today. Is it? I see the steam. Yeah, yeah. No. Race is starting. And now, everyone is focused on the race. Camera crews are watching our TVs on the patio. Some team members are watching from the tent. And even though everyone is working and focused on the race, they haven't forgotten about us. We get the tap on the shoulder and we're invited into the garage one last time. Don't mind if we do. During the race. During the race. All right, as we head into the garage for our final time, let's cut the music here because this is the moment I've been hoping for and I want you to be able to experience it just like I do. Being in the garage during the race. I mean, just listen to the cars coming through the pits. Now, we don't know it just yet, but our timing for this couldn't have been better. As usual, we put the headphones on and get settled in to watch the TVs from here. There's not much action in here without a pit stop. Now, I'm going to stop talking here because it starts to get good once you hear the crowd. You might just get a little action after all. We just got a safety car. We're going to double stack on you.
And this is all I wanted from the VIP pass. I don't need all of the other luxuries that other people get. I just want to be here when it matters. As an F1 fan, that was the bucket list moment. And so with that F1 moment checked off, we stand around here for the next 15 minutes or so until our time's up. Our time's up. Well, we must see a pit stop, so I'm happy. I think we'll set up outside now. It's a nice day out, you know? Better than it was yesterday. Yeah, that's for sure. The weather improved for the race, and so we get to watch the rest of it sitting here on the patio watching the TV helicopter above and the Pirelli team working on the tires. There is so much to this sport and I thank Alpine for the behind the scenes insight of the Canadian Grand Prix. And that's it. That is a weekend inside the family of Alpine F1. I'm Mike, thanks for coming along. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. Thank you Alpine for hosting. And thanks to Elage for coming along and being the best wingman.